friends welcome to today's video and today i will be showing you my quickest and the yummiest brownies you will ever taste if you make these and get them right you're going to thank me you also going to thank yourself there are so many things that are overpriced in this part of the world one of them being brownies i don't understand how something that simple to make gets uh like overpriced that much I, I really don't understand i was in java with a friend who came with the sun and the sun loves those so kusema kweli i didn't know how much brownies cost and i was surprised if you are a fancy restaurant goer or a java at cafe such um customer then you know what i am talking about so today I want to show you my quickest brownie recipe which will give you the best brownies that you will ever taste. Yes, Kina Jamini. One thing that you realize with making brownies, it can be messy. Unapata recipe inakwambia mix this in this bowl, then unatumia bakuli kama tano. That is not my recipe. It is straight forward and because I don't want to give you a lot of stories, I want us to go ahead and make those. So let us make the brownies, no more stories. But before that, please subscribe to my channel. I am sure you won't lack something to watch over here, whether recipes or how to save money and time, whether um, DIYs or... Yes, there's a lot to watch here. That is the point. So let's go ahead. Let's make our brownies. So we have white compound chocolate and dark compound chocolate. So I'll show you different times at which we are going to use the two. Then I'll be using some Kenyaji eggs around three. For the dark chocolate, you will need to melt it. Heat to make a badai so you can just uh, reduce it into size or melt it. I have vanilla essence. You can do vanilla extract, but that thing is very expensive. So I don't even know why it is that expensive. Some salt, sea salt is the best. I am out of sea salt, so this one will do. I will be using um, flour. That is all-purpose flour. My first time making brownies or attempting to make brownies, I used um, self-raising flour to get spodgy-like, uh, cakey kind of thing. And that is not how brownies should be. Brownies should be fudgy, like, yeah, holding up together. A butter. My recipe calls for two cups of butter, but I have like a cup. That should be okay. Uh, coffee. That is just regular instant coffee. We have cocoa powder, brown sugar. If you want to get the, the standard uh, perfect tasty brownie, just do two cups of flour, two cups of brown sugar, and two cups butter. But I will do one cup butter one cup brown sugar and this so let us do this kitambo by the way i used to i used to sift flour because i have never seen anything so i stopped <laughs> so i'll do salt if you do sifting you continue looking for what you check for you can combine the three of them pamoja and then you sift your thing is pamoja we should be aiming for at least a cup of cocoa powder so that should be a cup yes then we do a cup of brown sugar the only reason why i think you should sift everything together is to get that fine yeah everything mixed up but apart from that, like I said, I have never seen anything. Uh, yeah, and those days when I used to pretend that I know how to bake and everything would just either not cook properly or be just nasty. I used to follow the rules. So stuff started happening when I started breaking them all. So don't be like me. Sift everything together. This 
is what we got at the moment so we set this aside so the next bit is to clean your counters oh sorry the next one is to tengeneza our wet ingredients so we start with three eggs we do vanilla and then we do the butter what we got yeah you can imagine we later kwa tamu just imagine just just try to imagine we put this kwa our dry ingredients and try to yeah mix everything if you have a mixer which i don't have um just pour the dry ingredients kwa mixing bowl continue adding this stuff paka request our this consistency you should be yeah going on in the right direction you shouldn't be running you can do a better job than me just have them somehow uniform at this point is where you add in your chocolate goodness and mix mix it you can also pour like half of the butter into the tray and then pour the chocolate like you spread it and then you do the other half yeah butter but we know i'm not fancy again if you have children it can be tricky like mine if you do it that way atakuwa na chimba brownie huko katikati ndio anataka ku reach for the chocolate pieces so let it be hard to know where the chocolate is so we pour this into the dish line your pan if you don't want drama za ku clean your pan unfortunately i don't know measurements uh, pan i don't know whether this one has some uh, measurements uh yeah nothing so i don't really know like what pan is what what all those details but again when you're baking anything it depends on so many things uh your oven type whether you'll be opening it a million times whether it is operating like the way it should be or it is faulty the weather outside everything really like matters so let us go not go into the details so the next bit is to pour everything here this is everything when to me spread kila kitu vizuri in the oven at 350 let's do 20 minutes yeah i'll check whether it is truly 20 minutes uh yeah at 350 meanwhile i will be doing the dishes you see all this part of the price before you eat something yummy yummy and i will be still melting this chocolate 
here slowly. I'll see you when this is done. Friends, after 22 minutes, this is our, that is where white chocolate is. Let's try this. Your spoon should come back very clean. If it comes back with some stickiness, then you know something is not right. So it is all cooked. See that? And it smells so, so good. It are apparent you know we start serving them mapema mapema and there's no harm so let's do some brownie cut business here So if you want to continue being fancy in a way, you can sprinkle some sea salt, kidogo kwa umbali, that will be very, very yummy. But if you're not sure about that, just eat it as it is. So friends, this is it. I request to end this video here, but of course I will insert a photo here. Uh, how it will be looking like it is very very tasty you see all this gone already oh my goodness listen we did it we wanna how simple it is please go ahead and make your brownies at home let me know how the process goes in the comment section is where we do that remember my name is rachel in case you forgot mondays wednesdays and saturdays 1 p.m nairobi time i'll see you then adios